The damage at this golf course is extensive. You can see the circles around me here. That's where the truck reportedly did donuts, tearing up all but one of these greens. The only one which wasn't hit was the first hole right there. Now you can also see the tire marks coming down the fairway, and that's because these folks went to each hole. Snapped at each and every flag stick with their truck. They, they did uh, several donuts on the greens uh, with with heavy, heavy frost on the greens that night. So the damage, though it's not deep, is, is severe. Eric Soret, who runs the Woodstock Golf Course at Roseland Park, says the damage is devastating. A boulder now blocks the opening where the vehicle came onto the course, ripping up fairways and what are usually finely manicured greens. But for the people who take care of the course out here on a daily basis, it, it's, it's demoralizing. It's, it's, time. It's a labor of love for those people. The damage cuts into the heart of what Surrett says is one of the oldest public golf courses in the country, enjoyed by generations of locals, some forever remembered along the way. I say it's where everybody learns how to play locally and where everybody ends up. Each hole will cost thousands to repair. The greens take the most fine tuning, but the grass surrounding them suffered the deepest cuts. This right here will be, uh, will be all cut out and replaced. Already there has been an outpouring of support. Soret is also hoping to hear from folks who know who caused this destruction. Any, anything, any help, any, any leads to anything would be a great help to us. And you guys have a reward out too. We do. We're offering a cash reward. Soret says there is one silver lining in that the night that this all happened, the ground was frozen, so these divots are not as deep and can be more easily repaired. The weather is also helping out in that they have a few warm days now to get these repairs started. On the scene in Woodstock, Tina Detell, News 8.